everyone compliment of the season how you doing my beautiful people <laughs> it's good to be back again with another tutorial my name is Bokis. today's tutorial will be on how to make this trendy full circle puffy sleeve without elastic and trust me it won't be of any inconvenience at all so it's gonna be you know beautiful and you won't feel any inconvenience around your palm area so all you need for this tutorial is just your basic sleeve of your desired length and then the material you've been using for the sleeve it's very easy 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 to make so i'm going to show you step by step on how to go about that then before we get started the online class we have every month they are detailed and trust me you will love every bit of it and the timetable is out and i'll put in the description box below and also in the comment section the contact number by which you can get to us that will be the first comment you will see in the comment section also you can follow me on instagram with the signatures and on facebook we are seeing innovation so right now let's get to work it's time to cut the sleeve now so the first thing you need is your basic sleeve this material would not be enough so i had to get another fabric so here now you need your desired length for me i want 11 but here i have 12 why half inch to sew it to the main circle sleeve and then for the upper part to join to the dress that's why i have 12. then the next thing you will need to do is to measure your armhole what you have here or better still since you know your armhole measurement you can just make use of that so i have 10 and half here now so i'm just going to set that aside then the next thing i will do is remember 10 and half so when i double it i'll have um, 21 inches so all i will do now is to divide that 21 inches by 6.28 is a constant just as we do for our peplum so it's just to get the radius so now 21 divided by 6.28 okay i have 3.34 so that's like 3.3 .3. So now I know the radius, then I can start putting it out. So here you need about um, one yard of fabric is fine. It's okay. should be okay, depending on the length. So now we know the, the radius is 3.3. Then the length of the basic sleeve is 12 inches. So we are going to add that 12 inches to the 3.3. .3. So I'll be having, uh, that will be... 12 plus 3.3 .3 inches that will be 12.3 inches then we need to have some allowance to the full circle we are making just to like you know give it some space to be able to for the puff to be able to have enough room so to that 15.3 uh, now i'll be adding about four inches to that too so that's like one two three four so that's 19 point, point three. so you can just measure out 20 so 20 inches is fine so now so about one yard is fine so what i'm just going to do is first i'm going to fold over i'm going to fold over 20 inches because it has to be enough so this is about 22 fine then i'll measure that's about 22 inches here too you see them pulled over so we are going to make use of this part so i can just cut this out so let me just cut this out i haven't cut it off this is what i have now so it's easier now so the first thing now is to insert the radius which is 3.3 3.3 .3. 3 .3 is here so you place your measuring tape at the edge, then you keep rotating it all through. Then another thing, in case you want to have some pleats, let me just confirm. So in case you want to have some pleats, not only at the lower part and at the upper part. So instead of this 3.3, .3, you could just make it three and a half. 
just add half inch to this then you have excess so you can pleat at the upper part maybe somewhere around here and it's going to be lovely so it depends on your preference but this method is to have exact same measurement that we have on this pattern so i haven't done that now let me check if we are on track so here i have five and a half so i'm just going to double it to check that's 11 11 that's about 22 inches so that means i'll have to reduce it so in one way or the other i have measured excess because i should have five and quarter so i'm just going to come up a bit that's very essential but if you want excess that doesn't matter so here now i have five and quarter so five and quarter that is ten and a half double it that is 21 the next thing is to insert the length of the sleeve which is 12 inches but remember i told you we need to have some allowance to it to make the room uh, the pleat has a lot of room to show itself off <laughs> to cause some drama so now from 12 inches i'll just have extra four to it so this is 12 1 2 3 4 so that's 16 so i'm just going to measure 16 all through 16 So this is what we have now so in case you want pleating at the upper part that means you have to reduce this so instead of three and a half you can make it four then that means you'll be adding whatever you are coming down by to, to this to have excess so now i'm just going to cross this off to slit one part open good so I'm going to get the basic sleeve now this is what I have so then have to note the middle because of when we are pleating so what I will do now is to make this part match up with this and then I can pleat this so you see I'm just going to pleat it you can make use of the gather stitch it depends on your preference you can see i'm just going to gather it all up this way so can you see then we'll have something like this note when you want to sew it up it should be on the wrong side this is the wrong side now so we'll be sewing it on the wrong side then we'll be able to turn it to the other side so first let me confirm if what we have here matches the upper part so maybe i'm going to use the gather stitch um, stitch just to gather it up so this is the middle so it matches up with the middle here so that is essential Let me just check out. Okay. I have a little bit of excess here. I can either cut it off or just split it at this 
upper part. Can you see that? So it depends. Hmm? What you want to, this is it. So, okay, good. It matches now. Or either you trim it off. Let me check the other part. Okay. Okay, I have a bit of excess too. Can you see? So I can pleat it also here, which will add some beauty to it. So that means I'm okay with that. So what I'm going to do now is to take this to the sewing machine and run a long stitch. I'll be using the longest stitch on my sewing machine now to just sew all the end together. Then I'll start gathering it up to the size of what I have here. Now I've gathered this up. Fine, this might take more time rather than pleating it. But I just like this because it gives it that even fullness. Although I'm still going to pleat a little. So now, having pleated it now, I'm just going to open this on the wrong side. So this is the wrong side now of the basic sleeve. Then I'll make sure the right side now is facing the wrong side. So this is the right side of this sleeve. So this is the wrong side which I marked. So right side is facing the wrong side. So I'm just going to place it on it. So after gathering it, you see there's little excess. That's because I want to pleat a little here. Just to like give it more fullness. So that was why I did not pleat the exact measurement here. But you can do this exact measurement. Or rather just get the midpoint instead of gathering it. Because this takes a lot of time. So it depends on your preference. Then you just pleat it randomly. So now after doing this, I'll now take to my sewing machine now. To just sew this all down. I left half an inch. Then I'll pleat the excess. Can you see I've sewn it up so everything is set? So I will now have to open it up now. So this is the wrong side. So what I'll have now is this. I'll take the edge, match it up with this. Then I will now have to sew this all down. Then this very one too, all down. So make sure it matches with the basic sleeve. So I've sewn it to the upper part now. So this is what I have. You can see it already. So now, because we extended this lower part by four inches, so we have excess here. So what I will do is to just trim it off to meet the side. That's what I will do now. So that was because of the excess. So now I can just tuck this in. Can you see what I will have? So I will do it to the other side too. Then I will now have to sew it up. So after trimming this part, then I will have to sew this up together. So I'm going to do that and show you the final look. Can you see what we have now? You can see how full that is. So I'm just going to place it on the mannequin. You could have a half circle for this, but the fuller the better. How beautiful this sleeve looks like. You can see it is so nice. So in case you want a pencil sleeve just like what I have here, all you have to do is to extend the basic sleeve to have something like this. Then you measure wherever you want this puff to stop. Then just sew it the same way we sew it on it and you can see how beautiful it looks so nice <laughs> if my tutorial has been helpful please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for our online classes i'll put the contact number in the description box below i love you guys compliment of the season bye